an enormous night for Kai Thomas in Topeka High. Let's start with uh, with the team, with the good, and that is that you're advancing again uh, into the Elite Eight. Um, how does it feel kind of being back to that point once again as a senior? You know, it feels great. Uh, I feel like we learned something from last year. We got a lot of seniors coming back. We got 33, so I feel like just learning uh, off of last year, knowing how that feeling feels, we're gonna come out with a different kind of mindset and practice, you know, just try to execute every time. And going against Junction City and, and kind of the chance to get out of that Elite Eight and into the Final Four, that's got to be, you know, very inspiring for your team. Right. We know Junction's a great team. You know, they're going to give us a tough task just like last time. You know, they played down. It was down to the wire. So uh, we know what we're going to get out of them, and we're looking forward to just executing on what we can and what we uh, focus on all we can practice. Okay. Now, I know you're a humble guy, but yes, 300 sir. yards, Kai, um, your first time in your career. Did you anticipate having a night like tonight? That's, that's not my first time in my career. Oh, okay. Not last year, first time this year. First came, time this year. Came we close. Well, um, Rick Peterson told me uh, I had around 40, 40 plus carries. So if I get 40 plus carries and I don't get over 300 with this good of a line, then that's a problem on my part. Uh, line did great, you know, executed. Coach Kaufman, offensive coordinator, uh, great play calls. And um, I told Coach A, uh, this, every day in waste class, I tell Coach A, you know, game plan, I would say, give me the ball. And he says, yes, sir. He told me this is going to be the most I touched it. And, you know, it's a great feeling, great outcome. Love it. What is it that, that you've done to your game? I mean, you've been a starter since you were a freshman, but how has your game progressed to this point? I mean, is there an element that you just feel like, um, separates you from other running backs? Um, I would say my motor. Uh, as you can see today, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if I'm tired. Uh, what's going on, how to play breaks down. You know, I'm always fighting. I'm always going to try to make more out of it. Um, student of a game, um, I know the offensive line. I know the schemes. I know where the holes are supposed to be open, what kind of defensive fronts they're running. Uh, so it's just um, being more mature in the game. You know, my IQ of the game. Playing freshman year, you learn a lot of stuff from the older classmen. So players like Corey Thomas, Stephon Carter really was on me. Kane Florence was really on me about just my IQ of the whole game. Mike McCoy, he was real big on me with that. So just learning from them um, early on just helped me mold into the player I am today as a senior. Well, let's get into some of the stuff that I know the 247 sports fans want to know about, and that's obviously your recruitment. Um, still committed to Minnesota? Nothing's yes, changed there? Yes, sir. RTV. <laughs> yes, sir. Row the boat it is. But uh, I know you were at the Sunflower Showdown. Right. Um, it sounds like you and Mike McCoy are, are still very close. Right. Um, has that kept K-State on the radar at all? I mean, is that door still open or is it closing? Um, I'm a, It's closing. It's closing. Uh, Mike McCoy, uh, Jax Deneen, Keenan, Pog, all of them are really good close friends. But uh, they know at the end of the day um, it's what's best for me. And just talking to them, they kind of they kind of just put my mind on a – I mean, they kind of pinned out the plan of how it is there, and it's just something uh, I'm just kind of looking forward to getting away from Kansas. I've been here all my life. It's, uh, it's a great place, but it's not a place I want to stay for another four years, three to four years, for sure. So I know there were some rumors that you might end up taking a visit up to K-State, just kind of mm -hmm. get get it one, one last time just to make sure that you're solid with Minnesota, but it sounds like maybe that isn't even needed anymore. Right. Um, just talking with Coach Fleck, uh, I trust everything he has, the plan that he set out for me. And um, it was crazy, everything that he said to me this summer before I committed, before I even uh, knew much about the program, he told me that he was on to something special. And when I committed, he said, we're on to something special, just trust me. He was like, I believe in you. I took this chance on you, recruiting you. Uh, because, you know, I'm from Speaker, Kansas, and he had a lot of other options. Of course, Minnesota's Big Ten, they're a real good program. And I was their number one back on their radar. And just um, him having uh, that belief in me is just, you know, I trust in everything he said, and uh, they're 8 no, so they're doing real good. They're having a real good season. Uh, looking forward to stepping in next year. And your plan, back. your plan is to be up there in January. Yes, sir. Um, last question: uh, Since you won't be staying at home, it sounds like, mm -hmm. and heading up north, uh, cool moment here at the end where you're kind of passing the torch, maybe to Devin Neal. Right. Um, he's got a KU offer, K State offer. Um, what do you like about him? It sounds like you guys have grown up playing together, and yeah. um, could he be maybe a back for for Kansas State and Mike McCoy to to get on their radar? He's, he's definitely. Um, I didn't watch much on him uh, before this game, but uh, I watched this game, and it was just something about him. He's a, we definitely played. A hey, from when we was younger to now, <laughs> he's definitely evolved. He used to be a little skinny. I'm just running to the outside, but he really breaks down, makes cuts, finds the holes. He's very patient as a running back. Um, yeah, I like to see what he's going to do next year. His game really evolved a lot. Kai Thomas moving on and uh, not just here in the playoffs, but also heading up north to the Big Ten, it sounds like. Uh, Trojan to Gopher here very, very soon. Yes, sir.